Hey guys, VBG here, and this is episode 23 of my Terraria Let's Play. So, a couple things that have happened is I have a new microphone, so if I sound a little bit different, that's probably why. Well, actually, not a new microphone, a new headset. So, um, anyways, so if I sound any different, yeah, that's why. And um, also, recently I've been sick, so if I sound a bit different because of that, just uh, telling you guys in advance. I'm still recovering, so... Anyways, so... End of the last episode, I said that we'd go ahead and get a Hellforge, so that is exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> so I am going to head down there, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so here we are down at the Underworld, and we're going to go in as quick as we can, and... Hope to, uh get to that Hellforge. Oh great, a Blood Moon. No, 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 ah. Oh, it's right there at the bottom left of my screen. Alright, I'm gonna head back down and try it again. I missed that jump, I messed that up, so. I'll see you guys once I get down there. Wow, that was terrible. Alright, so here we are again, and uh, we're going to try the same tactic, get in as fast as we can. <clears throat> so. Oh, I seem to hit that, that lava there a lot. No, oh man, it wouldn't let me jump. Holy moly. Well, we did get closer though. One more try, and I think we'll get it. So. <laughs> once again, I'll see you guys uh, once I get back down there. Alright, so while I was falling down again, I realized something occurred to me. The second time we tried to get to the Health Forge, I had not... Um, oh, I did it again. I had not healed, so I was at low health. No. Oh... Okay, I think we need to, like, try and make a bridge or something to get to that Hellforge there. <sighs> okay, we'll try it again. We're gonna get it this time, I hope. So, I'll see you guys once I get down there again. Alright, guys, so I was thinking about it, and I think I know what we could do that might work out a bit better, is actually try and fight things. Because... We have not tried that, so I'm going to actually try and kill the things that are trying to kill me. Oh, I didn't get hit that time. Oh, it's dark in here. Seems to be a lack of uh, stuff trying to kill me this time. That's nice. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, grab this. I need a better hammer, don't I? Figures. <laughs> Let's smash this stuff and, uh. I, sh I should have known I needed a better hammer. But, uh, I think actually let's try and see if we can go to the left a bit more. That uh, looks like a pretty. Ah, oh, I knew I couldn't make that. It was just too far. Alright, well, I'm gonna make a better hammer and. Then we'll come back down there, or go back down there and see about getting that. Let's see, what do we want to make it out of? Can we make it out of meteorite? Probably not. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> meteorite, can we make it? No, we can't. Alright, let's go for gold. Hopefully that'll do it. Alright, let's see. Yes, I can make a gold one. Okay, so out with the iron, in with the gold. Alright, so I'm going to head back down there, and I will see you guys once I... Once I get there. Okay, so let's try this again, then. Hopefully we can... Oh, that is the worst place for one of those to be. Alright. Oh, nope. 
Oh, um, oh, and I forgot to heal. Oh. Holy moly. Okay, this was a terrible attempt. Oh, I missed. Ooh, I got melted. Okay, well, I'll see you guys once I'm actually at the Hellforge so you don't have to see me continuously attempt to get to it. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit once I finally manage to do that. Oops, wrong weapon. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I've tried a few more times and continue to die, but I did kill one of those demon things and they dropped a demon scythe, I think it was. Demon Scythe, 35 magic damage, very fast speed, uses 18 mana, or mana, whatever you want to call it, and casts a Demon Scythe. So I think that's spells that they actually use against me while I'm down there. So I'm going to try that out, and I'll be there. Oh, we got a Fire Bloom. We can make... Okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys that Demon Scythe, but um, we're going to make an Obsidian Skin Potion first. So we'll, I think it's Obsidian Ore... Or not, not demon, demon, obsidian. There we go. So I think it's just one obsidian, and then one of those. And then the fire blossom. Actually, let's check with the guide just to be a hundred percent sure about what it takes. <clears throat> Crafting and fire blossom. Obsidian skin potion. So we need one water leaf, one obsidian, one fire blossom, one bottled water. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the water leaf and bottled water. And there we go, obsidian skin potion. So that's going to help us quite a bit, immunity to lava. And um, I'll see you guys once I get back down there. Alright guys, so we're going to try out this demon scythe. First let's uh, drink our obsidian skin potion. Alright, there we go. We've got an immunity to lava for four minutes, so hopefully that'll help us out quite a bit. It should, honestly. Alright, that's actually pretty awesome. We don't have to actually really worry about going into lava. We can just dive right in, which is pretty awesome. Uh, cast cast the orb of light oh boy kill this with this whoo all right let's see if we can get that hell forge Kill off these bats. I'd say that uh, obsidian skin potion really helped us out. Please tell me this will work. It won't work. It's not looking like it'll work. Oh, come on. Out of the way. This thing's going to kill me. <laughs> I just know it. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's try... Oh, that helped out quite a bit. Alright, well, while we have this obsidian skin potion, let's grab some more hellstone. We can't get the forge yet, but we should be alright for now. I think we're going to have to go ahead and get a meteorite ham axe, and then we can, <clears throat> and then we can go ahead and get the hell forge. And then we'll be able to get some hellstone stuff going, and uh, well, that'll be pretty nice. <clears throat> okay, sorry if I clear my throat a bit. Still recovering from being sick, so. Forgot you had breath under lava. I wonder if you can make air pockets down here, like under the lava. I imagine you should be able to. Okay, yes, you can. Alright, good. Well, we've got a few minutes left, so let's make them count. 
because under the lava nothing can get us it seems so or not much can get us maybe one of those worms could get us but nothing else can get us so we want to we want to get as much of this as we can how much gold do I have on me okay 29 silver so we can die down here just keep mining until we die <clears throat> we should be fine actually, I actually have an idea let's get down lower and then we have 52 seconds come on don't drown don't drown Whew, that was close I almost drowned alright we've got limited time I wanna get into this area and out of the lava so that we can live longer alright Okay, there we go. There we go. We're safe. Home free. If... Oh, there's a block there. Alright. Alright, now we're home free. Whew. Okay, so we're down here in the lava, pretty much. Like, under the lava. And we're free to mine this. Oh, dear. Never mind. <laughs> I messed up. Whoops. Okay, so we got quite a bit of... Uh, Hellstone from that, I would imagine. We're going to take a look at how much we actually got. We got... What do we get? Where is it? 47 Hellstone. So that's added to our current... 34, so we've got 81 Hellstone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and scout out that uh, other meteorite that landed. And I will see you guys once I find it. Alright guys, so I've actually, I've come up to where our floating island is, and I think we're going to go up and check on how well that corruption has spread so far while we've been gone. Because I'm kind of curious myself to see how far the corruption would have spread. Alright, so here we are, coming up on it. Now, let's see, it doesn't look like it's spread too much to the bottom and that, but we'll see how far it's spread on the surface. Oh, it looks like we've got something going on. Oh, right, we never did connect much here because we didn't have any dirt. All right, let's connect. Am I going to do this? I want to connect it also to the other side, but I guess we'll just do that for now to connect it to this part and then see about... Maybe I'll come back later and fill in the rest. So, all right, well, that's our the progress on our corruption. Not... Too much really not too too much progress um so anyways i'm gonna keep scouting out for that meteorite and i will see you guys once i find it hey guys so i just wanted to give you a quick look at where i mined out that other meteorite it's right here big hole in the ground um yeah i just wanted to point that show you guys the big hole that was left over so i've reached the uh jungle it's just over here and we're going to keep going and see what we can find. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so a little bit of bad news. And that is that the meteorite is in the corruption. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, my mouse froze. I would have grappled again, but my mouse was just gone. Oh man, that means I need to go all the way back. Okay, well, at least we know where it is. The bad part is that it's in the corruption, so we'll uh, hopefully be able to deal with that. All right, well, I'm going to head back there, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I am back at the swamp house, and spawn point set. So this time, if we die, we won't have to go far to get to the meteorite. So um, let's kill these zombies, first of all. And then we'll head back into the corruption to take care of that meteorite. <clears throat> okay, so I believe it was just a little ways into the corruption where I found it. Whew, good thing I grappled there. I probably would have died otherwise. Okay. Just 
try to avoid the uh, eaters of souls for now. Alright, now if I am correct, indeed it is right here. I'm not gonna die to that again. Kill those off, and then I'll uh, start mining this up, and um, <coughs> I guess I'll just mine all of it, and I will see you guys in a little while once I have all the meteorite. Alright guys, so you know what? I think I'm actually sort of tired of trying to mine this with all this stuff trying to kill me. So, I have a solution, or at least an idea for a solution. I missed, but does it really matter? Maybe a bit. But that is such a better way to go about it than trying to mine it all. That is for sure. <clears throat> let's try it again, but let's try to get a better aim this time. There we go, that should do it. Now I also notice that this meteorite is at the edge of the corruption, however it is right beside the jungle. Like there's the jungle right there to our left. So I hope we got enough of the uh, meteorite dealt with to get rid of these meteor heads. <clears throat> Hopefully we did. Seems like corruption stuff is starting to show up now, so I would imagine that we probably destroyed enough enough of this meteorite to uh, get rid of the meteor heads. Or at least I hope we did. But, um, yeah, so we just have a little bit left here, and then uh, we can head back. <coughs> Yeah, I think we definitely did, because there is a lot of corruption stuff spawning now, so. We never did test if I could mine the ebon stone, but I guess now we know, since I'm mining it right here. So anyways, I'm going to get these last few bits of meteorite, and then I'll uh, see you guys once I get back to the house. Alright guys, so I am just arriving back at the house. <coughs> here we are. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my spawn back here. And in total, I got <clears throat> 217 meteorite ore. So that is, that should be plenty, honestly. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, 220 should be more than enough to make a ham axe. So let's, uh... There we are, meteorite bars. See how many we can make. 36 plus 24, so we have 60 meteorite bars now. Wow, I wonder if that'd be enough. 30, 35, okay, no, it wouldn't be enough to make a meteorite set, or a meteor set. But uh, we're not interested in that, we're interested in the ham axe. 100% axe power, 60% hammer power. That, that... 20 melee damage. Yeah, that can definitely replace our uh, War Axe of the Night. Alright, Meteorite Ham Axe. Or Meteor Ham Axe. There we go. So now, we should be able to uh, get that Hellforge, and I will... I'm just going to organize my inventory, and then I will see you guys in a little bit when I get down there. Alright guys, so here we are back down in the underworld and hopefully we'll live. I'm not sure if we will or not, but hopefully we will. Alright, I didn't fall in that lava lava at all. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. Uh, get that out, kill these. Alright, let's... Alright, oh, I... Don't need a golden hammer, I have a meteor ham axe. Could have sold that, that's alright. There we go, we have a hell forge. Our quest for a hell forge is complete. Why am I not double jumping? I wonder if there's another one down there in the lava somewhere. Probably. I'm not gonna go looking for it though. I'll die trying if I do. Okay, so let's, um... We do have dirt, so let's see about... Okay, I need to get my... 
Orb of light out. Oh, I have a gold on me. That's not good. Alright, let's see if we can get over there. Because there's one of those blue buildings. Oh, a shadow chest. We'll need a key for that, though, sadly. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to need a key for that. But we know it's there, so... We can get it after we're done the dungeon, whatever that is. Let's kill all the stuff in here. I feel a bit more confident now about the underworld, honestly. Okay, this supposed orb of light is very dim. <laughs> it's too dim to be called an orb of light, honestly. Well, this thing's actually pretty deep and it doesn't seem to have too much lava in it, it's just a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, well, while we're here, let's see about getting this hellstone here. You know, they really do limit um, what you can, how much hellstone you can mine, or like how far, like if I wanted to right now, it'd be probably pretty hard for me to go left, since I can't place anything in lava, and I, I need to get a bit more left to actually pick up this hellstone that's dropping there right now. Since the hellstone is dropping lava when I mine it, it's not a very good thing. Okay, well, what if we do... Okay, we're gonna have to do that. <clears throat> That'll have to do, even though there's lava right there, but hopefully we can get the hellstone that we, uh... We can't. Alright, well, how about I mine... that hellstone there. Then I'm just gonna... <clears throat> oh, I was just gonna say, I, I'm just gonna dive into the lava, but... To get the hellstone that dropped down there, but that might not be the best idea. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm out. Okay, let's try and get back out of here alive before we end up uh, pushing our luck. Because I think we're gonna be at the point of pushing our luck pretty soon. So, let's get, let's get out of here while we're ahead. I really want that shadow chest, though. That'd be awesome. I also want that chest on the floating island, honestly. Nope, out of the lava. Uh, potion. Ah, oh, man, we lost our gold coin. I, I really should have put that away. I was going to, but I forgot I had it. Okay, well, I think we did pretty good. Let's let's see what we can make out of Hellstone. Okay, no clue where I'm going to... Oh, right, a furnace and a Hellstone. Or, and a Hellforge do the same thing, so I can just take that furnace out. And then take the Hellforge. Just plop it down there. Alright, so we got 25 more Hellstones. Pretty nice. We have 106 now. So let's see what we can make. Okay, can we really not uh, smelt it? Okay, let's go check with the uh, guide. Okay, Hellstone Bar. Does it require something else, maybe, as well? Looks like it's, like, multicolored. Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna tab out and check this out. I'll see you guys once I, uh, figure out what to do. Alright, guys, I'm back, and I was right. You need four Hellstone and one Obsidian. So we do have a whole lot of Obsidian that we can use. So we'll just grab that, and... <clears throat> And here we go, once we can scroll to it. There it is, right there, Hellstone Bars. I'm surprised it only takes four when Meteorite takes six. Alright, so we have 26 of those. What can we make? A Molten Fury. Lights, Wooden Arrows, Blaze. That it? Really? <laughs> okay, so it seems that's all we can make for now, but... 
if we get some more uh, hellstone, we should be able to get something pretty nice. So I'm going to put all this stuff back in the chest. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to throw all this stuff in chests, and then I'm going to head back to the underworld, and I will see you guys once I get back down there. Hey guys, so I accidentally pressed C, I think it was, and now I have used one of all of my potions. So, I have my Orbalite on me, I have Well Fed, Minor Improvement Stall Stats, Feather Fall, press up or down to control speed of descent, Water Walking, press down to enter water, Invisibility, and Gravitation, so I can press up or down to reverse gravity, like so. <laughs> So, that was not intentional, and if I was going to do it in the first place, I would have done it while we were down there. Um, so now we're missing some potions, but uh, we'll see how much that helps us when we do get down there. Which is right about now. Now, I'm, I'd imagine it should help us quite a bit in navigating. Oh yeah, this will definitely help in, nav in navigating the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can just fly around by constantly reversing gravity. Okay, well, uh, let's see what's down here. Another hell forge, that's about it. Let's get some more of this hellstone. I think these buildings are actually one of the best ways to get hellstone, honestly, because you can mine it without the lava from the hellstone getting to you. So it seems like it's a pretty fair deal, honestly. Once that all drains out, we'll uh, get in there and pick that up. So it's also nice that Hellstone doesn't uh, burn in lava. It makes sense, though, that it doesn't, because it is in lava. So I wonder if the invisibility potion is what was keeping the mobs from all seeing us. Probably. Or at least I would assume so. There we go. Kill him. Okay, so we can probably get... We have 30 seconds left on our... Uh, Reversing gravity. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for this right here. I hope this isn't a bad idea to go for this. Probably will end up being a bad idea, though. Ah, that took a lot out of me. Okay, so... I do still have the feather fall, which is nice. So let's get in here and kill this stuff off. Okay, there's a heart right there. I want that. Um, see if there's any. Now nah, the uh, all the hellstone in here isn't that uh, accessible. You can almost like float upwards, or you can float upwards, it seems, if you jump with the feather fall potion. Need to kill off these hellbats before I... Alright, we got a life crystal. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, let's uh, grab this hellstone here. I just want to grab as much as I possibly can while I've got these potions activated. Since it was unintentional to activate them, I'm not going to activate them again, but since we did activate them, I want to make as much as I can out of it. So we still have Feather Fall for a little bit. Jeez, I'm being hit and, like, knocked right up into the air. Alright, let's drink a potion. Got another healing potion there to replace the one we drank. Alright, let's grab this hellstone here. Actually, the Featherfall potion seems to be a really nice thing to have down here because... Well, Featherfall. <laughs> we have one left. 
Because, I mean, normally the problem with the underworld seems to be that you f always f end up falling into lava. So, with the feather fall potion, you don't end up falling into lava so much. Which, I think that helps out. Probably one of the m biggest helps. Right, so we don't have feather fall anymore. If I could see something. Kill that off. I really don't want to break that. I'll die if I do. Okay, so we've actually... seems we've progressed quite a bit down here, honestly. Um, looks like there's quite a bit of uh, Hellstone here as well. Jeez, we're gonna have a lot when we get back. I mean, we already have 55, so... <clears throat> we can just get like a hundred down here we sh should hopefully be able to make something pretty awesome because I mean last time we had 106 and that made quite quite a bit so we should be able to make something pretty nice with all of this okay so like the right here this is a lot of uh, hellstone I know I'm probably boring you guys a bit with all this uh, hellstone mining, but since this is our first time in the underworld, I kind of wanna want you guys to see this. So, or I mean, our first successful time in the underworld. <clears throat> Might just be able to uh, just go right down into this right underneath here. To grab our hellstone. Can't mine any when we're down here though, sadly, because that'll probably kill us. And that probably was not the best idea to unleash the uh, fire of the underworld into Trying to grab my hellstone there didn't work out so well. All right, let's uh, get out while we're ahead. <clears throat> oh, right, that time that we uh, did die and lose our gold, we could have just oh wow, we could just we could have just magic mirrored out and we didn't. All right, well we do have 86, um, 86 hellstone there, so let's grab our obsidian and see what we can make. Alright, Hellstone Bar. Quite a bit, 21 more. Then we can also... Oh, we can make one more Hellstone Bar as well. So we'll have 48. Oh, those look nice. Okay, so we have 48 Hellstone Bars now. So that's 35, the Molten Ham Axe. We already have a Ham Axe. Um, molten Pickaxe. Oh, these things look nice. Fiery great sword, 37 melee damage. Holy moly, 37. Slow speed, but it's 37 damage. Hmm. 37. I'm not sure if that's a good deal or not. Huh, alright, uh, actually, I think for some of the armor, you actually need worse armor to make it. Huh, alright, I'll, I'll research that later. But, um, I think we've actually reached our limit. We're about out of time for this episode. I'm not gonna make anything just yet. I wanna find out what the armor takes, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.